Despite a global pandemic, Keystone Church leaders, Pastor Brandon and Susan Thomas, say they were able to do even more good for their community. And here's the most impressive part. They were building a new campus location at the same time. They joined me this morning to share more about their efforts and to talk about their grand opening this weekend. So great to have you here. So good to see you. Good morning, Jane. Yes, thank you for having us. Thank you. So, Pastor Brandon, I want to start with you. Tell me a little bit about Keystone Church and how you started it. Yeah, you know, Keystone Church started 17 years ago in our home. And uh, we've had different locations. We've met in a school and we've had lease facilities. So this is our very first place that we can call our own. And so it's super exciting. And our people are so excited. And of course, we've grown since those days in the house. And uh, we're excited to open this new house for the community. Yeah, I can see the excitement in your face. Mm -hmm. um, Susan, when you broke ground on the new campus, you obviously had no idea the pandemic was about to hit. <laughs> Describe how the church not only built a new campus, but also did more for the community than ever during a pandemic. That's kind of yes. amazing. Oh, yes, it's so true, Jane. No one expected what was going to happen over the next couple of years. And in those moments of uncertainty, we were very clear that our mission had not changed. We believe with all our heart that Jesus is the hope of the world, and we build his church to share his message of salvation and his message of hope. And we build his church to do more good. And so in those days when the future was unclear, we knew and we chose to trust God and to keep moving. And so as we did, uh, Keystone family rallied. We continued to build the building. And while we did that, we asked the question, how can we help in this unique season? How can we help? And so we transformed part of our facility into a food pantry. And we began to provide food and supplies and necessities to some people who had been hit the hardest. We partnered with small businesses to support them, but also to meet needs in our community. And during a time when there were heightened fears and anxieties and a lot of loneliness, we provided soul care to the community around us. And so you can imagine today, as we are about to have our grand opening, how excited we are to have a place to call home and to celebrate together. So you have this new campus. Tell me about this beautiful church and all it has to offer the community and families. Yeah, you know, we're so excited. Um, it's on the border between Keller and Southlake, right on the border. And uh, boy, we are so excited for the young generation. That's where it all starts for us, with the young generation, teaching them to live their best life, teaching them to make great choices, teaching them to embrace the love of Christ for themselves and help them be leaders. You know, there's a lot of skepticism about the young generation and we don't buy into that. Uh, we believe that they are the now generation. And not only that, uh, with the young generation, we really have a heart to see family trees changed forever. And uh, so you may you may have had a story that you're not proud of. Well, it can change here. And so at this campus, we wanted to build something beautiful. We wanted to build something that was our very, very best for everybody that would drive by. This is our best. We believe God deserves our best. And so we just believe God is building a bigger platform through us so that we could do more good. So give us just a little sneak peek before you get away. What will someone experience when they come to Keystone? Oh, uh, we hope when you walk in that it feels like home. We believe no one was meant to walk this life alone. And so when you come, you have the opportunity to experience connections with some of the greatest people around and make those relationships. You're going to encounter powerful worship as we gather together. And we have amazing kids faces just full of life and a lot of fun all of this created for you and and we believe that you're going to have a great opportunity to encounter god that's really our ultimate hope is that when you come to keystone church you encounter god because we believe when you encounter god he changes everything for the better and what are the service times and what's going on for the celebration this weekend well, we're going to have a lot of fun. We say we're serious about having fun. And so it's going to be a blast. We're going to have three services, uh, Saturday at 5 o'clock and then Sunday at both 9 o'clock and 11. And uh, you're going to meet a whole lot of new people, and we're going to have a great time. We invite you all to be there. All right. Thank you so much for the invitation. Appreciate Thanks, you. Jane. Have a great day. Thank you. The Keystone Church grand opening is tomorrow and Sunday. Go to keystonechurch.com for all your information.